the elephant in the room. I'm using cats as a person who's proved it. I've used Ranty as a person who... Oh, really? Uh, This is news to me, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, cats has got R. Why didn't he just give it to Pat to pass on? Me, uh, are you going to chat through what I actually said? Because you're going to substitute on a rant to your cat's lies. I said it'd be very boring, me asking for, for an R value that we've debunked and then spending 80 to 100 times repeating that. That's boring. I've read the emails. Yeah, I said it would be boring. To admit that R... Sorry, I said it would be boring. I gave an example with quotes with what would be said, hypothetically speaking... Yes, the idiot. Yeah, yeah, I said it'd be boring. And here we are asking for R and you not giving it us. And us just continually asking you over and over again for R. The elephant in the room you haven't got. And when I say black swan, because you say I haven't got evidence to prove that if the Earth was a sphere, radius 3959, as we assert when we assume R, that's debunked by the black swan, then the horizon distance for boats to go over, by way of begging the question fallacy, could be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height and feet, as per the begging the question, proof of nothing, perspective hijacking earth curve calculator that cats and ranty used to ask flat earthers why how many feet and inches are missing. But they need R for that, don't they? Yes. Oh, I'm just thanking them, too. Don't thank them. Just give me R. So, if there is a horizon, there must be a curvature. There must be. Without a curvature, there can be no horizon. What? True or false? But that's a baseless assertion. True or false? It's your claim that the horizon must be mandatorily there based on there being curvature. It's true. And we can, we can see this through the, the simple observation of ships out at sea. We can see this very simply with the setting of the sun. Okay, talk me through it. When watching a ship sail out to sea, we can see it obviously begin to sink from the bottom up through this through the um, from the the ba- base of the hull up to the top. Correct. To your claim. Okay. So watching a ship sail out to sea, and you see these things go from the bottom up. It's going what appears to be over the horizon. Correct. That's and... your assertion. Don't tell me that it's going over the horizon. That's an assumption of physicality at the horizon. So no. Do you want me to stop you right there, or do you well, want to continue? I'll continue. I'll why? Continue. You've just as- you. Why? The, the sorry. Offer. Hello? Why? You've just assumed- Hello. You, sorry. Hello? Your statement just assumed the horizon's physical. Do you understand that that's a begging the question fallacy you've just employed? Another logical fallacy? No, that, that is not a fallacy. So when you say going over the horizon, it's not that you're assuming it's something physically going over something physical, then. That's not just your it assumption. Is. Because there is a phys- Sorry, I'm pointing out that you're begging the question and you're ignoring me. Sorry, repeat the question again? No, you are begging the question. That would be to assume your outcome. To assume that the boat is physically going over something. That would make the horizon physical and the boat physically going over that physicality. That is you assuming... The very thing you're trying to prove. No, it's not. uh, You don't have to interrupt. I'm trying to explain to a Dumbo what a begging the question fallacy is, and you're interrupting me. Try to listen and understand and comprehend rather than talk. Do you understand? I'm educating your dumbass and how you beg the question of physicality, the thing you're proving. The horizon must be physical because of Earth curve. Why? Well, because I assume boats physically go over it. That's begging the question, you Dumbo. Are you done? What, telling you that you beg the question? Are you going to acknowledge that you beg the question? Do you know what begging the question is? So when a ship goes over the horizon... When you beg the question that it physically goes over the horizon, yes, that's begging the question, yes. You're going to ignore it and plough on anyway, no. Yes, I am. No, you're not. That's assuming your outcome. You're trying to prove the horizon's physical, and we've proven it isn't 
by showing it's beyond physical limitations of the geometry Earth sphere radius 3959. We've debunked its physicality. Just saying, I assume boats go over it is begging the question. I don't assume. I know they do. Oh, you know they go over a physical geometric sphere edge. No, if the Earth was a sphere radius 3959, then every distance to horizon could be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height in feet. Black Swan, it is in excess of the geometric limitations that would provide physicality for your boat to go over. We've debunked that, my friend. Answer my question. Uh, you're going to ask me that I'm asking you? No, I've debunked your assertion it's physical because Black Swan, it's in excess of physical geometric limitations of said sphere radius 3959 black swan we've shown it's beyond those limitations so boats definitely aren't going over physical earth curve edges your your proof your proof has been disproved multiple times by people more knowledgeable than i oh really how so how so maybe how, repeat how my question that? back again yeah that's right you've claimed my black swan which it isn't, has been debunked by more intelligent people. That's ad hominem attack. There's another logical fallacy he's thrown in just for good measure. So I say, oh, really? How has the very thing you've just claimed happened? And you repeat that question back to me. Is the thing you just claimed bewildering to yourself that it needs repeating? No. So get the on with it then. How has the black swan been debunked? Can I ask your panel a question? You could answer my question about your claim you just made and seem to be ignoring immediately. Maybe repeating it back to yourself wasn't enough time to think of an answer. Uh, okay, how has, how has the... The black swan been debunked like you just claimed? Yes, get on with it. Uh -uh. That would be a total fail. No, it hasn't. The only claim that is supposedly debunking it is terrestrial refraction. That would be Earth refraction moving it with respect to itself based on an R value refraction that you can't get if you can't measure R. So, no. Nathan. Uh, Say Nathan. my name, bitch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we've debunked your physical horizon for your assumption that boats go over it, my friend. Yeah, we're still in the same position and you laughing about claiming it's been debunked by quote-unquote more intelligent people doesn't change the fact that it hasn't. The reason I went silent is I had to take a deep breath because you're a very rude individual. Another ad hominem attack. You haven't got a debunk to the black swan. If Earth was a sphere, radius 3959, then every distance to a physical geometric horizon for boats to go over could be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height and feet, as claimed in your Earth curve mathematics when you say boats go over the horizon. However, the black swan shows beyond all certitude that the horizon is beyond those physical limitations you want to assume boats are going over. So no, you saying more intelligent people have debunked the black swan doesn't change that they haven't. That's where we're at. Nathan, can I ask a question? You can wait for this guy to get to the end of his begging the question proof of nothing perspective hijacking earth curve calculator claim that boats go over the horizon that he thinks is physical by way of assumption when he begs the question. Still hasn't addressed that. Yeah. It is not it is not by assumption, it is by actually witnessing it. It is actually So, so you witnessed physicality of boats going over a geometric limitation that we've debunked. No, you didn't. You just thought you didn't assume that it was physical. That's wrong. You're begging the question. You obviously don't understand what a begging the question fallacy is. You think the horizon is physical, and then when you see a boat reaching the horizon, you decide that it's going over a physical geometric limitation that we've debunked with the black swan that you can't get around. And you you continue to make a statement yourself, but you don't provide any evidence. Black swan. That, that, that That's my fucking evidence, dick shit! Oh. Well, wait, let's, let's look at... Let's stutter around the fact that you've just claimed I've got no evidence and then I say black swan and you stutter a bit. Well, let, let's look at... Let's, 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 let's acknowledge the black swan as evidence. Ranty disproved it. Oh, Ranty, the guy who lied about me running from cats. I asked for R. Cats didn't want to deal with that, so he ran away from me. Ranty lied about that and said I ran away from him. So you want to trust Ranty? He's a lying shit. No, I, I do. Yeah, yeah, you're stuttering, bitch, yeah. You still haven't got R. Because I, I... You haven't got R. Your email. Where's R? Give me R. I've read your email. Give me R. 
give you R. Yeah, where'd you get it? Al Biruni dip angle measurement of a physical geometric sphere edge horizon that you think's physical by assumption and begging the question fallacy has been debunked with the black swan evidence you haven't got around. Now you want to talk about ranty? No, you haven't got R. I'm, it's the I'm elephant using... in the room. I'm using cats as a person who's proved it. I've used ranty as a person who... Oh, really? Uh, this is news to me, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, cats has got R. Why didn't he just give it to Pat to pass on? Because you asked not to have it. No, no, I said he couldn't prove it. I said the show would run no, as me... He... Uh, you're going to chat through what I actually said because you're going to substitute on a ranty or cat's lies. I said it'd be very boring... Me asking for, for an R value that we've debunked and then spending 80 to 100 times repeating that? That's boring. I've read the emails. Yeah, I said it would be boring. To admit that R... Sorry, I said it would be boring. I gave an example with quotes with what would be said, hypothetically speaking. Yes, the idiot. Yeah, yeah, I said it'd be boring. And here we are asking for R and you not giving it us. And us just continually asking you over and over again for R. The elephant in the room you haven't got... And when I say black swan, because you say I've got evidence to prove that if the Earth was a sphere, radius 3959, as we assert when we assume R, that's debunked by the black swan, then the horizon distance for boats to go over, by way of begging the question fallacy, could be no more than 1.2 times the square root of the observer's height and feet, as per the begging the question, proof of nothing, perspective hijacking Earth curve calculator that cats and ranty used to ask flat earthers why how many feet and inches are missing. But they need R for that, don't they? Yes. And yeah, and they haven't got it, and neither of you. So when I asked for it, cats ran. The the radius. Of yeah, the yeah. The, he hasn't got. He hasn't got it. Kilometers. He hasn't got it. It's debunked. The ra radius of the Earth is six thousand three hundred seventy-eight point one kilometers. Chant it, Fundy. We've debunked that because if it was, the horizon distance could be no more than one point two times the square root of the observer's height and feet. And the black swan shows that that's not the case. And then you throw in refraction as well. Refraction? What kind of refraction? Light refraction through... Sorry, your refraction on a globe is terrestrial refraction. Oh, what's your celestial? Terrestrial on a globe. That's your refraction. Do you know what terrestrial... And, and, hello, and Fundy. what's your hello, celestial? Hello, hello. Why are you muting me? Hello, hello. Why have hello. you got me on mute? I'm not muting you. Can you stop Who talking to him? me then? So... Who muted him? That's Do you rude. want to know what refraction is on your globe? Because you don't seem to know. It's terrestrial. No, I, I'm, I'm asking you what I'm your refraction is. I'm in the middle of talking. Is. There you are with Explain your mute button again. There you are with your mute button. So, do you not know what we terrestrial... Means, means there he is with his mute button again, ladies and gentlemen. This is what Katz needs. He needs somebody that will allow this. So, do you not know what terrestrial no. refraction is? You talked through me six times so far when I asked. It's only been four times, actually. But... But you don't know what terrestrial refraction is? Because that seems like an obfuscation. This is... This, what? Not the seventh time I've asked you if you know what terrestrial refraction is? I told you. I've... It's only the fifth time. What's and the what standard calculation? What is terrestrial refraction? Yeah, yeah. It is simply, yeah, I already yeah. stated what it was. Yeah, yeah, what I is it? I already told you what refraction was. What is it? Terrestrial refraction. And that's refraction on a globe. I, what is it? I already told you. What is it? I... I already stated it. Oh, well, then you're no good to me, then. Because I don't hear you telling me that it's based on R. How did you not hear that? Oh, so it's based on R? Refraction... I told you that refraction is light refracting through humidity. No, that's wrong. Your refraction's based on R. That's incorrect. No, it's not. Have you ever gone scuba diving before? Have you so ever gone So that's not refraction on a globe, my friend. Light? Hello? Hello, you've got a begging the question, proof of nothing, perspective hijacking Earth curve calculator to assert that the geometric horizon has got boats going over it and the refraction in your globe maths, that's what you utilise to assert things go over a horizon that's physical and geometric. That's based on R. So I'm just going to keep talking because... Oh, really? What, because you don't like hearing that your refraction claim that debunks, according to you, the black swan by moving the horizon to a non-geometric location with R that is derived from a geometric measurement of R with the horizon. That's paradoxical. Yeah, you think you're just going to carry on talking straight through that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you probably moan and say you need a neutral platform. Well, I point out that it's paradoxical to refract the horizon with R because the measurement of R is based on the horizon. Further. 
Yeah, you're just going to chant straight through me. Light bends. You're going to keep chanting that light bends. That's not terrestrial refraction, which is refraction on a globe, though, and you're ignoring me. I just, you He's continually are know. arguing that my... About. How come people on your side tell us that you can't see this geometric uh, horizon, that it's only in the maths? And they say it's the horizon we do see about. is only apparent. What he's saying oh, is boats go over head. a geometric horizon. It's physical. It goes over it. Now he's saying the horizon's refracted with an R that he needs a horizon to be physical to refract it with. So if the horizon's now refracted, it's not got boats going over it, then that was just merely an optical effect. But suddenly we've got a refracted horizon, whereas two minutes ago he begged the question that boats physically went over it. So we're in a paradox now. Boats are physically going over a non-physical refracted horizon, according to him. It's paradoxical. Furthermore, his refraction's based on R. He needs R to refract the horizon. And he hasn't got it because the horizon's derived from an R-value-based horizon. You can see further because of refraction. That's based on R for you, so you're going to need R for your refraction. I've said that three times. Can Sorry, you disprove you, R? You, Nathan, Sorry. Nathan, if you, if, you, if you refract like you see further, the more refraction, the further you see. The more you disrupt the image, the better you see. Is that what you just said? You, you can. You, you, you can, can bend see light to see refraction. further. Non sequitur. The fact that you can bend light has nothing to do with corrections for R-based refraction on a globe in globe geometry. Your assertion that boats go over a geometric physical limitation, that would be Earth curve, is a geometric assertion. And your geometric refraction is based on R. Now, I don't give a crap what you do when you try and bait and switch actual refraction, that's light bending, and fundy mute the crap out of me explaining this, because this guy is chanting like hell while I'm saying this. So he's assuming that you're not going to get through, right? Maybe complain that you're getting muted while I start talking and you chant through every damn word of it. Yeah, your refraction no, isn't no, light I'm, bending. I'm very yeah, yeah, yeah. There he is chanting. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you need your neutral platforms. So that when a de devastating disclosure comes through from me that your refraction that he's using to claim he's got over and around the black swan is based on R. And he'll constantly try and bait and switch my audience with no light bends. Yeah, that's not terrestrial refraction, though, which is globe refraction. Well, at present, he's claiming that boats go over refraction. Yes, I did point that out as well, Brian. No. The paradox that he's got boats going over a physical horizon, he assumes. Now he's telling me that's a refracted position that boats are going over. That makes no sense. <laughs> Dude, do you, you, you ever understand that's refracted? Pardon me, sorry, I refracted? How do, you Dude, how do I do not understand? Okay, th thank you. Um, to answer that question, uh, how do you measure something that's refracted? Personally, I don't know. Well, why are you claiming oh. it then, you dumb shit? Oh my god. Because it's a physical observation. Oh, so it's physical and refracted? That's a paradox, dumb shit. No, you it isn't. Said that you're so critical, boats go over you're physical refracted too. horizons then? Both, they're going over the physical oh. refraction, are they? <laughs> Hello, you stupid Perfect. shit! Hey. It's going over the physical refraction, is it, dumb shit? Uh, you stuttering dumb shit. No, 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 he says. And then I say, oh, so boats go over the physical refraction. Do they, dumb shit? No, they do not, <laughs> dumb shit. No, they do not. You're just dumb. <laughs> Yet you've got a paradox. Boats physically going over horizon. You're fighting to prove it's physical, only to later disclaim that it's refracted. With R... Ah, Terrestrial refraction's what you're using on a globe. If it's light refracting on a globe, it's going to be R-based refraction. That's what your refraction is. You seem to think it's something to do with light bending. No. Your Muppet Vision light refracting through a globe, that's R-based terrestrial refraction and needs R. So you're going to need to measure the horizon physically, but apparently you're going to refract it. So you definitely can't measure R with it anymore because you're refracting it. Are you done? Yeah, how did... Am I done? What, annihilating this prick? Yeah, I've pointed out that so far you've used about half a dozen different fallacies. You've claimed as your first debate, yet you know intimately all about cats. You've read an email back to front and inside out. And yet you can claim physicality at the horizon and paradoxically boats are going over a fraction. Yet you're asking me if I'm done. No, mate, you've been annihilated. You're a prick. You got annihilated. You definitely didn't prove R. You danced around it quite a lot. Now you're proving that the horizon's refracted with R when you can't measure R and you haven't given me R. So you got absolutely annihilated here, mate. 
So there was a question that was asked to me. No, there was a statement of fact. You got pummeled. You didn't have R. You tried to refract the horizon with R. You used a begging the question fallacy to assume its physicality and then paradoxically claimed it was refracted later in your argument. You're done. You're out of here. No. No, you're going to keep here chanting at me and asking me questions I don't need to answer. Yeah, no, you won't. Sod I'm off. Go away. I'm asking your panel. No, you're not asking anything. I've made a declaration, oh, oh, oh. a winning declaration. You don't have R. Your attempt to get around the black swan needs an R for your refraction. That's where we're at.